Hey everyone and welcome to one of my metal melting videos. In today's video I'm going to be melting down a bunch of aluminum cans and I'm going to be using my Viver 12 kg propane furnace. I really do like using this specific furnace because it's huge. The crucible really holds a lot of cans. And when melting down aluminum cans, you really need a larger crucible to do so. And you'll see that, you know, throwing in the cans one by one does take a long time. So you can imagine, if I had a smaller crucible, it would have taken much longer. Now in the beginning, you'll see I placed a piece of cardboard on the bottom between the crucible and the plinth. That is to help prevent the crucible from sticking to the plinth and help for easy removal. So let's fire up this furnace and start melting down some aluminum cans. As you can see, the aluminum has already started melting down. It's probably been about 10 minutes. So it's time to load the crucible with some more aluminum cans. So in the beginning of doing the aluminum can melt, it does take a while. But once you get a puddle of molten aluminum in the bottom of the crucible, it goes much quicker. You can basically just push in a can directly into the molten aluminum and it will almost melt it instantly. So guys, please sit back and relax and watch a super cool relaxing video of melting down some aluminum cans. So now that I've melted down a bunch of cans, now I have to remove some of the dross from the top of the molten metal. This dross is just the impurities in the metal, as well as the plastic liner that's on the inside and, you know, the paint from the outside of the can. This stuff is no good. So I'm going to continue adding more aluminum cans, and when that's all finished, I'll then do a final scoop off the top of the molten metal to clean away any of the remainder dross that has floated to the top. And there definitely will be more dross. That's a fact.
and everyone before you want to pour molten metal into an ingot mold definitely preheat the mold prior to pouring any molten metal into it All right, back in the garage, and it's time to get a weigh-in on these aluminum ingots from these aluminum cans. 
and I've got a whopping 3.59 pounds of solid aluminum. And we can't forget to weigh the dross, you know, the garbage that came out of these cans, can we? 1.57 pounds of garbage. Eh, I don't think that's too bad. And now it's time to add the solid aluminum can ingots to my stack of aluminum ingots. Looks good to me. What do you guys think? Leave a comment below.